mean, nobody wants a wild card, okay? It doesn't make any sense. We don't want a maniac in our group, but there's no benefit to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like you just agreed with me, but you weren't listening to what I was saying. Yes. You pointed at me like I said something, but I didn't. Oh, good. Charlie, having somebody making wild decisions that make no sense, that benefits nobody. Oh, yes. Right, yes. Is he listening to us? I can't he, tell. He's listening. He's not understanding. Yeah, he doesn't even, like, get us, man. It's... We're talking about you! Ah. Okay, let's move on from what it. What do because... you think is happening right now? Though? Guys, it doesn't matter. It's good. Okay. He doesn't like for me to eat the apples with the skin on it. He says the skin's loaded with toxins. Okay, well, good news. Mac's not here. Well, I know he's not here, and that's why I need you to do it for me. Please, please. Oh, Jesus. Just eat it with the skin I on it. I do not like it with the skin, Dee. I'm not allowed to eat it with the skin. I'm not allowed! Well, I would like to get a chicken sandwich, mm. but, uh, but I think I want to get the beak on the side. Mm. Frank's always making me eat it first, and frankly, I'd rather eat it last if I'm going to have to eat it at all. Oh, I, I can help you here. Instead of eating it last, you don't have to eat beak at all. Uh, oh. Ready to order? Ooh. Yeah. Beak! No. No. Get it. We made every single one of our patties dollars back, You're buddy. damn right. Thus creating the self-sustaining economy we've been looking for. That's right. How much fresh cash did we make? Fresh cash. Yes. Uh, well, zero. Zero if you're talking about U.S. currency. People didn't really seem interested in spending any of that. That's okay. So uh, when they run out of the booze, they'll come back in and they'll have to buy more patties dollars. Right. Keeping uh, it moving. That is assuming, of course, that they will come back here and drink. They will. They will, because we'll redistribute these to the shanties, thus ensuring them coming back in, keeping the money moving. Well, no, but if we just redistribute these, then people will continue to drink for free. Okay. How does this work, Mac? The money keeps moving in a circle. But, but we don't have any money. All we have is this. How does this work, I dude? don't know. I thought you... I thought you... What? I thought you were on top of this. You're the one that came up with the plan. I can... Did I come up with this last one? night, dude? Oh. With the DMB power oh, card I and the. I blacked out. I blacked out that night. Shit, dude, I've been following your lead. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, okay. So we have no money and no inventory. Uh, there's still something we can do. That's still a business somehow. How does DMBs do it? I think I got a complicated system worked out, and I, I cannot begin to understand it. But how does a self sustaining economy work? I don't understand how the U.S. economy works, much less a, some sort of self-sustaining one. The whole purpose of buying the boat in the first place was to get the ladies nice and tipsy topside so we can take them to a nice, comfortable place below deck and, you know, they can't refuse because of the implication. Oh, uh, okay. You had me go in there for the first part. The second half kind of threw me. Well, dude, dude, th think about it. She's out in the middle of nowhere with some dude she barely knows. You know, she looks around her. What does she see? Nothing but open ocean. Ah, uh, there's nowhere for me to run. What am I going to do? Say no? Okay. That, <laughs> <laughs> that seems really dark. Though. No, no, it's not dark. You're misunderstanding me, bro. I'm, I'm, I think I am. Yeah, you are. Because if the girl said no, then the answer obviously is no. No. But the thing right. is, is she's not going to say yeah. no. She would never say no because of the implication. Now, you, you've said that word, implication, a couple of times. What, what implication? The implication that things might go wrong for her if she refuses to sleep with me. Now, not that things are going to go wrong for her, but she's thinking that they will. But it sounds like she doesn't want to have Why sex with you. Why aren't you understanding this? I don't, she, she doesn't know whether she wants to have sex with me. It's that she doesn't know. That's not know. the issue. So are you going to hurt women? I'm not going to hurt oh, these women. Okay. Why would I ever hurt these women? I, I feel like you're not getting this at all. I'm at not all. getting it. God damn. Well, don't you look at me like that. You certainly wouldn't be in any danger. So they are in danger. No one's in any danger. How can I make that any more clear to you? Okay, it's an implication of danger. You know what, just drop it. Let's drop it. You're not gonna fire your shit. Let's, let's get out of here. Bill Ponderosa and the sordid lot of degenerates he associates with. Terrible people who ruin lives. Ruined mine, cost my client his marriage. Ruined my first, now my second one is teetering. We, we thought maybe you would think that was funny. Yeah, if it exploded in your face. But I can tell by the look on your face that you don't think that's funny. That's not your style. I can't believe you shot Charlie, dude. Don't stop. You almost killed our best friend. Well, you know, no, you, no, no, you told me to shoot Charlie. You almost killed You guys told me to shoot Charlie. You almost killed him. The shit hits the fan. You guys are like, don't shoot the guy. Then all of a sudden, stop it. You told me to shoot him in the face. All right, let me try this out. Wait, what is that, your apartment key? Yeah, I see it's been worse. Does that even work? Why not? We're not at your apartment, shithead. Well, how many possible lock combinations oh, can there be? Oh, so dude? many, dude. Like no, hundreds of millions. Tatiana, I want you to clean yourself, for I will enter you hard and deep, and it will last for as long or as short as I please. But you will be clean. 
Only when you are clean will you know my power. Very nice performance. Very nice and clean performance. Welcome. Welcome to our legitimate show of kids. A very, very, very nice. Which one of these talented uh, entertainers who I am not attracted to at all will be the winner? I'm not attracted to any of them. None of them. And that's the way it is. Anyway, everybody put your hands together and clap for the kids. Clap, clap, and you wave goodbye. Wait, wave goodbye. Go to your dressing room. We're gonna start the show. Go on. It's okay, just don't touch. Go to there, go into the, their dressing room. Over there on that side of the stage, I am going to my dressing room. We will be right back. I'm over here. Howdy, howdy, howdy. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> So you guys, what's the deal with those hands-free headsets that everybody's wearing in their ears, right? <laughs> it's like, hey, everybody look at me. I'm one part robot and three parts asshole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, am I right? <laughs> hey, you must be the new neighbors. Name's Wally Schmidt. No relation to Mike, but don't tell my wife. <laughs> Boy, it sure is a hot one today, huh? Okay. Nice to meet you, boys. What the hell was that all about? Just comes up and starts talking to us? Right, some guy comes up to me. I don't know what he's I don't know what he's up to. No, it's like the whole time I'm staring at him. I'm thinking, does he have a knife? Are we gonna have to take this bitch out right now? I have contained my rage for as long as possible, but I shall unleash my fury upon you like the crashing of a thousand waves! Be gone, vile man! Be gone from me! A starter car! This car is a finisher car! A transporter of gods! The golden god! I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds! You, you can do it. You'll be great. My, my mom has a speech. Thank you all for coming to our Beef and Beer and Jesus. As you know, I'm as sick as a three-legged dog on the streets of India. Any minute, my lungs are going to sizzle, pop, and disintegrate into a liquid lung and organ gumbo soup. That was my line. Nice. Charlie, I can't do Just this. Just get to the money part, all right? Just get the money part done. Give me money. Money me. Money now. Me a money needing a lot now. That was Charlie's line. Good morning, Philadelphia. I'm Crazy Patty, and I'm coming to you from Patty's Pub telling you to come on down. We're slashing prices so low. You won't need a pot of gold to get sloppy. So come on down to Patty's. It's insane. What is that? Did you like that? No, that's not what YouTube videos oh, are like. Oh, that's a great character. No, that's like a bad like commercial you'd see like on the cable network or something. Maybe you didn't get it. I'm crazy because I'm pricing the beer I too low. I think I got it. Mm, I think I got it. The beer's too <laughs> low for what average beer prices. All right, you be. know what? Let's just do it again. Maybe throw in some more jokes or something. You know, Here. make it a little funnier. Make funny. it funnier. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. absolutely right. You can make it funny. You're funny, <laughs> girl. You ready? Mm -hmm. Good morning, Philadelphia. I'm crazy. Pa <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> No, why? That was funny. See, that's awesome. Why would you do that? That's what YouTube video is. You, ever see, the, you ever see the little girl who's mashing the grapes and then slips and she's like, oh, Why would you do that, Charlie? That's what people want to see. Oh my you God. Know? People getting injured or, or seriously hurt. That's funny. Okay, let's just do this. This is, trust me, this is what gets hits on YouTube. All right, are you ready? Yeah, Stop I was talking. ready from the. Stop talking. I'm crazy, Patty. No. Okay. Okay. I'm crazy, pet. What are you doing? You're what? flinching every time. Oh, now. I'm sorry. I, I can't concentrate when I'm about to get blasted in the face with a ball. I'll blast you all over if you flinch again. Yeah, Let's just don't... do this. Let's just do this. Action. Oh, oh, God damn! God damn! God damn. I don't like that it, was... Charlie. I don't think it's funny. You, on the other hand, well, you're a pit of despair. Frank, you disgust me. You disgust everyone. And you will never ever be on that billboard. Yeah! Show me cow! No, that's me. I say that word. I say the show me part. You just give me the answer. Okay, Ronald? Right, I'm sorry. 
Show me, Cap. Don't you say just, show me. Just Don't that. say it. Just say, just that. say the answer. Show, show me is the part that I say. Here's the one thing. There's only one thing in the whole world at this moment you shouldn't say. Mm -hmm. Show me. So just give me the answer, and then I'll say, sh you know what? Go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it then. Do what? Mother of That's good. That's a good accent. Do a Philadelphia accent if you insist on doing an accent. I'm not going to do a Philadelphia accent. I'm going to do a Swedish accent because that's what Indy would do. These will work, Dennis. These will work. Don't worry about it. And don't worry about anything. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. What do you say? Want to be my wife or what? Holy shit. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. So I'm going to clean house and you're all fired. <gasps> what? Yeah. Well, what? Come on, man. Have a sense of humor. Fired. I'm not fired. I'm not fired, right? Did you, did you hire these people? She sure did. Well, she, she hired she's me. The manager. Yeah. Well, then, then clearly you're an idiot because these people are psychopaths. But no, you're not fired. I'm just kidding, you are. Everybody get the hell out of my restaurant. This is what men do. Yeah. This yeah. is men stuff. Yeah. 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 Men stuff. Men stuff. Christ, Charlie, you're yeah. drinking sunblock. Wow, it's good. It gets you. It gets you all. Ugh. Yeah, you're ingesting viscous chemicals, and they're getting you hot. It doesn't, doesn't matter. All right, well, just let me do the talking. Well, okay? I feel like you gotta at least talk with a southern accent. Oh, I'm man. not gonna talk in a southern accent. It's bad enough that you wore this stupid disguise. But we're oil men. We would have southern accents. Yeah, but we don't need bolo ties and stupid yes, hats. Yes, we do. She's gonna okay. come up. Hello, ma'am. Oh, what a lovely house dress. Yeah. Well, you're looking all sorts of good. And now you seem like a sweet. Sophisticated, nice, busy young lady. So we're not going to waste your time today. Nah, we're just a couple old men in from Dallas, and well, <laughs> we're itching like a hound to give you a something you want. What my <clears throat> associate is trying to say is that we're here to offer your community a much needed. Hell yeah, we want to fill you up if and you were so inclined as to let us. Please let me do the talk. Please let me. No. Now. We ain't gonna take no for an answer now, you hear, okay? So don't be making me sick my associate on you here, all right? <laughs> he don't take kindly to no. So, can I fill you up or what? Yep, you best get to stepping, because Johnny Laws are coming. Yeah, you might want to start driving, because she called the cops on us. Why is he talking like that? Well, Wildcard over here decided to lose his mind. I say, I say, that's just damn preposterous, boy. Well, now you're just talking like Foghorn Leghorn. Hello. Hello? Ongo Goblogian, the art collector. Charmed, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to invite you to a show. Okay. But first, allow me to destroy your gallery. Oh. Bullshit. Bullshit. Derivative. That I love. I absolutely love. Um, that's just the air conditioner. I want it. It's everything. I mean, look at us. We're just air conditioners. I mean, after all, we're yeah. just walking around on the planet, breathing, conditioning the air. I condition it hot, that conditions it cold. I mean, it's symbiotic. No? no it I mean, is. we're just the air conditioners walking around on this planet screwing each other's brains out. A quality woman doesn't do that. She doesn't say yes right away. She says no to a man for years, like 10 years. That's what a real woman does, okay? You know what you were acting like? A stupid little rich slut. And that's all that you are. How can you do this to me? Are you still talking? Go away, dum dum. Go, run and hide. Go from me. I don't want to see you. <laughs> Women, right? I don't understand why there's not a single room in this hospital well, that has a working television. I want it. I want that room. I want it now. I don't know where you think I'm going to get it from. I don't have any. If you do not get my sister, her stories, and a new room as soon as possible, then I will come down on this hospital like the hammer of Thor. The thunder of my vengeance will echo through these corridors like the gust of a thousand winds. You know what? I don't have time for this. I ain't going to jail over you. I will beat your ass and think nothing of it. I'm not doing this with you today. I'm not. I want to order in this part. Fly, my pet. Fly. Fly.
make a move, Maul. No, no, don't. Oh, my God. No. Ah! I'm Sorry. leaving. You're grabbing her breasts? What are you doing? I don't know. What does make a move mean? It, it, it doesn't mean doesn't... stab at her breasts with your finger. That's not Brian Lefebvre. This is Brian Lefebvre. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God. Why do you got his finger? Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole finger thing. This is a miscommunication. This is a stupid thing, man. This guy here. He's, he's like, dude, get a fingerprint. And I hear, get a fingertip. And I chop his finger off really quick. And then I'm like, is this what you want? He starts screaming. Heaven is my 40th beer of the afternoon, so any dick nips think you can slug it down faster than me, you're welcome to get your bad asses up here. Mm -mm. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Put your... mm -mm. Oh, I'm gonna need that. Ah, you... Okay. Ruin that oh. They're on to me, dude. Those guys are sharp as nails up there. You can't put anything past them. Oh my god, dude, I'm freaking out. I am so stressed out. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. You wanna talk about stress? You wanna talk about stress? Okay? I've stumbled onto a major company conspiracy, Mac. How about that for stress? What the hell are you talking about? This company is being bled like a stuck pig, Mac, and I got a paper trail to prove it. Check this out. Take a look at this. Jesus Christ, Charlie. That right there is the mail. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I've been dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? Pepe Sylvia, this name keeps coming up over and over again. Every day, Pepe's mail is getting sent back to me. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. I look at the mail, well, this whole box is Pepe Sylvia. So I say to myself, I gotta find this guy. I gotta go up to his office. I gotta put his mail in the guy's goddamn hands. Otherwise, he's never gonna get it. It's gonna keep coming back down here. So I go up to Pepe's office, and what do I find out, Mac? What do I find out? There is no Pepe Sylvia. The man does not exist, okay? So I decided, oh shit, buddy, I gotta dig a little deeper. There's no Pepe Sylvia, you gotta be kidding me! I got boxes full of Pepe! All right, so I start marching my way down to Carol and HR, and I knock on her door and I say, Carol! Carol, I gotta talk to you about Pepe! And when I open the door, what do I find? There's not a single goddamn desk in that office. There is no Carol in HR. Matt, half the employees in this building have been made up. This office is a goddamn ghost town. Okay, Charlie, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Not only do all of these people exist, but they have been asking for their mail on a daily basis. It's all they're talking about up there. Jesus Christ, dude, we are gonna lose our jobs. Well, calm down, because here's one thing that's not gonna happen. What? We're not gonna get fired. We're not. Because we've already been fired. We've lost our jobs? Yeah. About three days ago, a couple pink slips came in the mail. One for you, one for me. So what did I do? I mailed them halfway to Siberia, okay? If we've lost our jobs, that means we've lost our health insurance, which means all of this was for nothing. God damn it, dude, I'm having a panic attack. I'm actually having a panic attack. Well, will you attack. settle down and have another cup of coffee? I am, bro. All right, well, fine. You know what, Barney? Give this guy a cigarette. He's freaking out. Huh? Who? Barney. He's the guy who tipped me off to Pepe Sylvia. Barney? Who the hell is Barney? You don't see Barney. Oh, shit. What the hell did he... You've lost your mind. You've lost your goddamn mind, Charlie. You see, Charlie, these liberals are trying to assassinate my character. And I can't change their mind. I won't change my mind, because I don't have to, because I'm an American. I won't change my mind on anything, regardless of the facts that are set out before me. I'm dug in, and I'll never change. Well, 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 hold on a second there. Before you vote, uh, Charlie, uh, you know, consider this. There's, there's no shame in doing what's best for the majority. I mean, that is what a democracy is, right? It's trying to please the greatest number of people in a country. White people. Please don't help. But Dennis, I can't be ugly. I'm a hopeless romantic. But no, you're, you're not. Okay, you're, you're a sad, pathetic wretch of a man, so desperate to be loved that you'll actually go rifling through somebody's garbage, and there is nothing, <laughs> nothing more unattractive than desperation. Yeah, so you, t no, not him. No, talking about you. No, not him either. Yeah, I am talking about you. You know what, never mind. Your time's up. Listen, listen, listen. I want to be inside you. I want to do shit to you that is going to make you realize what a worthless, boring piece of shit your husband really is. Wait a second. I'm confused. Why would you want to have sex with me? Why the hell wouldn't I want to have sex with you? I mean, bam, boom, boom. Because you're gay. What? Am I gay? Dude, you're wearing makeup. Yeah, I'm wearing a little bit of makeup. Who, who doesn't? And every... a girdle. Yeah, I wanted to seem thin for the occasion. That's You've not weird. You've also been gossiping with me for the last 20 minutes. I was speeding through the steps. I have a system that... 
I was demonstrating value on the dance floor and then I engaged you physically when I put my hands on your hips. Now I'm nurturing your dependence by letting you talk shit about your boring, worthless, piece of shit husband. Then I was gonna take you to an empty broom closet and I was gonna bang the shit out of you. And then I was gonna neglect you emotionally. That's what I do, Christy. And it was working. I was manipulating your feeble little brain into doing what I want. What I want. And then now it's what you want. Ew. Oh, ew, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, your husband is a liar. How about that, Christy? <sighs> Holy shit. Why? You kidnapped Corman? I don't really know what happened, okay? First I was angry, then I was drinking. Next thing I know, I'm following this guy home and forcing him into the trunk of his own car. <laughs> Christ, this is bad. Really bad. Don't panic. I got the tapes. I got the receipts. They're all time-stamped and coded. After every encounter, I received a text confirming each partner's consent and enjoyment. Now, you may ask, well, would a woman really, really text that, Dennis? Their phones did. What's our plan? What's our plan? All right, so here's, here's how we're going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to bang Tim Murphy's black wife. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. That'll do it. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around. I'll read the words you wrote. Hello, fellow American. This you should vote me. I leave power. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Peaked, D? Mm. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I haven't even begun to peak. And when I do peak, you'll know. Because I'm going to peak so hard that everybody in Philadelphia is going to feel it. Kid. What's happening? Oh. What is it? Sorry, sir. The darn thing won't print. You mind if I take a look-see? Oh, no. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. I, I think it's a paper jam. Man, here's the culprit. Thanks, Mr. Warthog. <laughs> Damn, it was in the tray three that yeah. you didn't check. <laughs> <laughs> it just was hiding back there. It was like a little piece of paper. <laughs> let, me, well, let me ask you a question. Did I just do your job for you? Excuse me? <laughs> did I? Did I just do your job for you? Uh, uh, I guess so. You're fired! Get the hell out of here! Go on, pack your shit up and get out of here! If we're gonna turn this company around, we gotta start cutting the crust off this shit sandwich! How many of my dresses would you like to order? None. Not one. Okay, look. I'm not gonna take no for an answer because I, I I just refuse to do that because I'm a winner and winners we don't listen to words like like no or or don't or stop those words are just not in our vocabulary. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm yeah, smiling? Are we smiling over here? Are we smiling? I can't believe this. Get is money happening. out. Yeah, we'll believe it, buddy. Come on, take Give me a, a walk. walk. Come on. All right, that's good. Get out of here. Yeah, get the hell out of Come here. Come on. Useless. Put an egg in your shoe and beat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dennis. Reynolds. Hi. Hi, Dennis. I have a bar. I own a bar. It's my bar, and I wanted to invite you to it. For, uh, we have food and supplies, and it would be a good place. This storm is going to be bad. How about a little of this? Huh? What the hell is that? This? That's my P. Diddy boat dance. Uh huh. You look like one of those inflatable dancing things at the used car lot. The ones that flail around in the wind. Oh, I don't. I look good. No, Dee, that's exactly what you look like. I, I promise you that's what you look like. You can't dance for shit. I can dance and you don't know what you're talking about. I'm okay? going to bring one of those in so you can see it. Okay, why don't you bring the guy in? We'll have a dance competition. I'm we'll going to be the judge of that contest. I'm not going to judge. There's not going to be a contest. No, stop. Everybody stop. Shut up. No, nobody's bringing any trashy inflatable man on this boat. Absolutely not. Dee, stop dancing. Look like an asshole. Oh, Dennis, you don't look good. Trust me, Dee. If I found myself getting sick, I would simply say, "Sit this big guy." His name was Dennis. I'm, I'm sorry. What is the hell? Silence. Oh, okay. He said, "A woman's mouth is not for the exiting of words, but for the entrance of a man's dick." I don't care if you're old. Seize the gap. You old fat bitch. You fat bitch. I don't want to sound racist, but. Can we just discuss the fact that it's an old black man? Yeah. Mm. It was supposed to be an old man. Just an no, old it's man. a black man. Dude, that's like a whole other thing. That's yeah. two things. It's two things. It's two things. Here we are on a boat, you know, out in the middle of out in the middle of nowhere. 
nobody would ever hear our screams in this wind. You know? Oh. Uh, the thunder is really is throwing this whole thing off. You know, it's making everything I say seem sinister. Lie back down. Possibly a little dominance. It's all a very choreographed dance between two soon-to-be lovers. Oh. <laughs> Cassie's underage. Oh. Now, Frank, if I'm correct, when you were a boy, you were admitted into a mental institution. Is this correct? That's correct. But soon after, it was discovered that I wasn't mentally disabled. So they let me go. And they let me go with the proper paperwork clearing me of everything. I would like to add into evidence article one. Uh, Mac, will you please read this document? Mm -hmm. By the power of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Reed Mental Institution hereby decrees Frank Reynolds to not have donkey brains. What? what? That is an official document. What is that? Donkey brain on it. Well, it's written right here in plain English. Frank, would you like to clear this up for everybody? Well, all the kids in the neighborhood knew I got sent upstate. So they started calling me Frankie Donkey Brains. And it was very traumatic. Oh. So I got my mommy to drive me back up to the loony bin where they signed this official certificate exonerating me of all donkey brains. How long have I been locked in here? <laughs> Welcome, Sexual Conquest. As previously discussed, you've pressed the button on the alarm clock, signifying your permission to begin the game. Oh. A digital copy of your thumbprint has been sent as your e-signature, confirming your full consent for whatever may happen to you. I'm out! Oh, whoops! Oh, I dropped my monster condom that I used for my magnum dong. I'm out of here. What the hell's going on? Drop you, man! Yeah, you sit down so we can tell you what an asshole you've been. We're gonna get all in your face and point out your faults. A roast? I've always wanted to be roasted. Oh, wait. Let me just switch gears here. Fire up this spliff. No, 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 wait, 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 Frank, hold on. Um, everyone's here today because they care about you and they want you to get well. She ain't funny. Next. Frank, you're an asshole. Ah, that's it. Now rain down on me. Come you're on. You're a prick. Well, and your addiction has affected yes. us in the following ways. You are annoying. Hey, Dennis, come on. Give it to me with both barrels. He came at the right time. Is he sleeping? Yes. He's sleeping right over there. Just the way you like him. Did you bring the toll? Confound your lousy toll, troll. <laughs> God damn it. Stop laughing at me. You gotta pay the troll toll. If you wanna get into that boy's hole, you gotta pay the troll toll to get in. You want the baby boy's hole, you gotta pay the troll toll. You gotta pay the troll toll to get in. Troll toll. What'd you say? Here's your toll, troll. Your boy awaits. At last, the boy's soul is mine. Oh, give me that leg, boy. No. Dude, do you have a boner right now? Shut up, dude. Don't ruin this for me. What? What the hell are you? Are you Jesus. Okay, stop, stop. That's enough, dude. Does it hurt? Oh, oh. God. We know there was another guy in on this, all right? So, come on, anything you can give us. He was staying here for a few months. He was here for a few months? Mom, why wouldn't you tell me that? <clears throat> okay, well, 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 was he here on the night of the murder? Uh, no. Mom. Don't lie, okay? Okay, yes. Why it funny? No, no. Mom, if you know something, you gotta tell me. I can't lie to my Charlie. Good, tell me everything. Okay, they were both here. 
They were both inside me. Eduardo was in my mouth and Luther was in my butt. Oh my God, no, don't tell me everything. What? No, what? Oh, damn it, Bonnie. Eduardo who? Sanchez. Holy uh, shit, tell us more. Then Luther went in Eduardo's butt for a while. Tell us less. Tell us less. Then they both completed on each other. I, I was left out of the finale. And then Eduardo went out and he killed somebody. And then, th well, that's all I know. Jesus, goddamn Christ, Mom. If you know that, just say that. Don't tell me the whole thing about banging every single guy that comes to the house. If you just know the part about the murder, just say the murder part. Oh, my God. Why don't you trust therapists? I opened up to a therapist just once. I was a kid. I got into a fight. The doctor asked me question after question. Got me so scrambled up. Next thing you know, I was shanghaied upstate to a nitwit school. You know what a nitwit school is? I assume you mean a school for the mentally disabled. <laughs> yeah, not just for nuts in the head, bodies too. Back then, science was real crude. They stuck us all together. My roommate was a frog kid. You ever see a frog kid? A frog kid? Yeah. The place was windowless. There was a guard every ten feet. All the rooms had drains in the floors so they could hose us down. How terrible. Got my first kiss there. Frank? It was terrible. But not her. She was an angel. Always smiling. That's because she had no lips. But her mouth was still very much in play. Let's talk about the dishes. Oh, she died two weeks later. She thought she was a spaceman with a plastic bag for a helmet. Oh! Ah, oh, oh, you unzipped me. It's all coming back. It's all coming back. I hate you. It's all coming back, you understand? I don't like it. Oh, God. That's a lot. Throw up. This oh. blue is so brutal. Oh. <coughs> hey, guys. I think I might be coming down with something, too. Are you kidding me, dude? Like, I think you're gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah. I've never felt like this before in my life. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go down drinking. Anyone want some booze? I knew you drank cleaning supplies. No, dude, this is booze. I stashed whiskey in here. Dude, you are an alcoholic. <sighs> Whatever. These stashes warm beer in the ceiling of the back office. I keep a flask of creme de menthe behind the jukebox in the bar. It's not a big deal. I'll just drink, you know, because this might be our last chance. Bottoms oh. up. Oh. I'm not getting it. So you crawl around on the bed looking for minerals? Uh, no. <laughs> if I'm looking for minerals, I gotta be under the bed. Minerals on top of the bed doesn't make any sense, actually. None of this makes any sense. It's insane. You know, I don't know about you guys, and I don't know why this is happening, but I actually feel a lot better. Well, you look better. You guys all look better. I'm actually feeling better, too. I feel great. Yeah. How is that even possible? All we've been doing is sitting here and drinking. How could we have gotten better so quickly? Oh, my God, you guys. You guys, we haven't been drinking since we quarantined ourselves into the bar, at least since we got stuck in the bathroom. Oh, well, that's right. Wait, wait, wait. So what are you saying? That We'd never had the flu. We were just having alcohol withdrawal. Yeah. Alcohol withdrawals. That's great. Is it great? It means we're all alcoholics. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Right. All right. I gotta go to work. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Maureen. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Oh, I, I think you got the wrong idea. I'm not with anybody. What? Well, look at here. Or maybe if you get up off that crack rock, you can come and be Pepper Jack's best hoe. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not on any crack rock. That I mean, one okay, one time I was hooked on the crack rock, but that that was because I was trying to get on welfare and, and fail a drug test. But that stuff, you got to be careful because uh. it's it'll mess you. Why are you asking? Do you have some on you? 
Hi, uh, sir. I'm sorry. We're trying to conduct a little business here. Oh, Pepper Jack's trying to conduct some business here, too. You with this cracker? Mm, no. Well, technically, we drove here together, but I'm not with anybody. Well, you heard it. Your bitch chose me. Oh, well, see, now, Pepper Jack, I feel like we're miscommunicating. Uh, bitch, you speak when spoken to now. Oh, no, no. Uh, sir, you know what? We're just gonna get out of here, Dean. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, you're not just gonna come up in here and take Pepper Jack's best hoe. You want this whole back Pepper Jack needs to get paid. Pepper Jack, are you serious? Do Pepper Jack look like he playing? I don't think Pepper Jack's playing. I Dennis. feel like Pepper Jack isn't playing no, either. No, Pepper Jack is not playing. In fact, Pepper Jack about to cut somebody. Oh, please don't oh, cut. No, please no, no cutting. No. That's Pepper not necessary. Jack, uh, all right, how much? How much? Oh, what you got? Like, I don't know, seven bucks and a stupid thermos. Is that Fraggle Rock? Yeah. Oh, Pepper Jack loves Fraggle Rock. Oh, gentlemen, it's time. Oh, is it? Kick it! Oh. Ah! Uh, I have a question, though. What's going on with Hulk Hogan's hair? It's blonde, and yet it's silken, like that of a Chinese man. Ah, yes. Uh, that is Hulk Hogan's signature look. Blonde Chinese hair and the skin of a hot dog. It's awesome. So I'm gonna just break it down. I introduce myself right. That was wrong. I'm Sinbad. This is my head, shot. I'll be autographed for you a little later on. And this is Sinbad's house. And you my bitch! That's not good. That's not good, Frankie. You say another word, and I swear to God, I will dice you into a million little pieces and put those pieces in a box, a glass box, that I will display. Wait. Wait, 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 no, I'm saying, no, the brakes! Guys, why aren't the brakes working? Because I cut the brakes! Wild card, bitches! Yeah! What? I saved you! Save me! Yeah! You buried me. Now everyone in here thinks I'm a rat. They're gonna kill me in here because of you. I'm, I'm sorry. I still love you. I don't. Listen, rumor has it that somebody that works at this bar found a certain something that belongs to us. A certain something which may or may not have fallen off a certain truck, huh? And a certain somebody that we know thinks they saw that certain someone pick it up and take it back to that certain bar, which may or may not be the place that we happen to be, or not be, talking to a couple of certain somebodies right this very second. I got beesh, huh? Fellas, we're about six beers deep, so I think you're gonna have to be a little bit more clear, because I didn't get that last part. I'm, I missed out on the whole thing, to be honest with you. I was confused by it. I'm very confused by the whole... I, I was very confused by the whole thing, to be, if I'm being honest. I! reign supreme over everyone in this school. I am the golden god of this place. I reign supreme. I... I... When we're selling stuff at Patty's, I think we need to be selling a certain attitude, right? One that reflects our take no prisoners, rock and roll lifestyle. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Now what says that more than this? Huh? Patty's thong, dude! Patty's thong! Let me yeah, have a go uh, yeah, at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Nice! Wait for it. Wait for, wait for it. Wait for it. Cheese some crepes. Son of a gun. Cheese some crepes! D. We'll be taking this card. Oh, gentlemen, it's time. Oh, is it? Kick it! Ah! I'm a full on re phil phil philanthropist. Oh, dude, I can't get it. Well, how do you say it? What is it? Philanthropist. Sorry, I'm late. Um, You're Jackie. Yes, I am. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, this. I, I was r running. Okay, because you're you're bleeding. Oh shit! Is it bleeding again? I'm sorry. I'm, these are hornets things, you know. I run into like like a lot of like hornets in my line of work, and I get stung up like bad all over my face and stuff, and then, you know, it starts bleeding. Oh, 
Sounds interesting. Yeah. What is it that you do again? I work, I'm like a janitor. I'd, um, I'm a full-on rapist, you know? Um, Africans, dyslexics, children, that sort of thing. I'm sorry. Did you say you're a full-on rapist? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I help. I help people. You know what I mean. I'm. I'm a, a full. A full. A full in. Um, a philanthropist. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It gets blocked up in my mouth. I don't say it no good. So. I'm a janitor at a bar. Well, clearly he's evacuated to the Poconos. Do you really think he'd do that to us? Absolutely do that to us. No, 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 this is bad, dude. What you got here? What you working on? Oh, uh, this is great. This is an agreement for the women. Yeah, oh. it uh, guarantees that whoever comes back to the bar with us agrees to follow all the rules that we set forth. Well, that's smart. Walk me through the details. What you got there? Uh, it's all very simple, Charlie. Very simple stuff. Um, I state your name. Charlie Kelly. Hey, mm, well, not your name. Huh? Their name. Being of sound mind and body, do solemnly pledge that I do not have a boyfriend, nor am I currently engaged in a sexual relationship with another individual, females excluded. Right. Uh, I hereby agree to be easygoing, mm. to engage in playful conversation, to always act as though I desire your penis, even when I don't. Yeah. And it sort of goes on and on like that for a while. I love it. Where do I sign? Okay, again, um, you don't sign anywhere. If we're doing a contract, I want to sign it. This so, isn't a contract for you, Charlie. I, it's not. This is a contract. Which one of you uh, is Frank Reynolds? Go. Okay. Uh, Frank, I have something here that I need to read to you from Barbara. Mm. Frank, if your fat monkey heart is still beating, mm. uh, then congratulations. I want you to know that I hereby leave all of your money to Bruce Mathis, the real father of my children. What? What? Bruce Mathis? A handsome man with a beautiful soul <clears throat> and a nicer penis. You're giving all my money to that jerk off? You know, Mr. Reynolds, I'm reading what's on the document. Why are you okay? giving it to him? I'm not. Hey, she barely even knew him. Yeah, I'm not giving any money to anybody, you see. I'm just reading what's on a will. Where is that rat bastard? Sir, I don't know. Because I, I want to smash his face until he's dead. Kill dead. Frank, we kill should forget about dead. Bruce. I want to just give away all of our money. You know what? We should just move forward, okay? For my darling son, Dennis. Hmm? Presumably. Mm -hmm. uh, I give you my house. Well, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, now it's starting to make sense. Read on. On the sole condition that Frank not be allowed in. I would never let him in. What? I... Deandra, yes. you get nothing. You were a disappointment and a mistake. A mistake? We're twins. Yeah. We were born at the same time. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Tell that bitch it doesn't make sense. Okay. I'm reading the words that someone else wrote, okay? I don't know your mom, never met your mom. In fact, I'm certainly not speaking to your mom now because she's dead. One more time, let's just challenge him to one more, you know what I mean? I feel like we could really get these guys. <laughs> don't you see, D? We've already won. Whoa, what's going on with me? Oh, well, what's going on is that you just drank a cup of poison. Choke. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we yeah. knew you'd pretty much yeah. choke under pressure, which is why. We fought you for the last flip and flip and flip 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 I am the king of the minions, not Tim Murphy, not that jerk off idiot, hey, you jerk off! What the hell are you doing, man? She rejected me. Me, Frank, me, the coolest guy in the history of this goddamn school. Oh, they're all gonna pay. They're all gonna pay the ultimate prize. Whoa! Oh. Dude, what's all that stuff you're grabbing? Tools! Tools! This is a duct tape, zip ties, and gloves. I have to have my tools. Why do you have a bunch of, like, weird tools in a hidden compartment in your car? It's fetish, it's fetish shit. I, 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 I like to bind. I like to be bound. I got, I, 
that's not important. Don't ask me questions. I'm not taking questions. The golden god is not taking questions. I am the golden god. I, I'm taking action. I gotta go. I gotta well, go. We'll, we'll,